All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, iterate with JavaScript for loops. So we can run the same code multiple times by using a loop. The most common type of JavaScript loop is called a for loop because it runs for a specific number of times. For loops are declared with three optional expressions separated by semicolons. So for A, semicolon B, semicolon C, where, hold on a second. Okay, so this is the for loop right here. This is the setup right here. For and then A, semicolon B, semicolon C, my bad. So where A is the initialization step, pardon me, statement, B is the condition statement, and C is the final expression, right? So the initialization statement is executed one time before the loop starts. It is typically used to define and set up our loop variable. So just like the for loop, it would be like when we said let i equals zero. That's almost what, that's, that's what the majority of our thing, our uh, for loops are going to say, i equals zero or something to that effect, all right? Uh, so also the condition statement is evaluated at the beginning of every loop iteration and will continue as long as it evaluates to true. When the condition is false at the start of the iteration, the loop will stop executing. And this means if the condition starts as false, the loop will never execute. And sometimes that's the case because, uh, we might push something in there that says, do this if something, and then it's not true. So it doesn't even do it. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. And then also the final expression is executed at the end of each loop iteration prior to the next condition check and is usually used to increment or decrement our loop counter. So usually it's something like I plus plus, I minus minus, I plus equals two, something like that. Something to keep the uh, for loop going until it hits that uh, false statement, right? So in the following example, we initialize with i equals zero and iterate with our condition i less than five is true. Pardon me, iterate while our condition i less than five is true. And we'll increment, pardon me, we'll increment i by one in each loop iteration with i plus plus as our final expression. All right, so here's the example here. We've got const our array equals an empty array like this. And we'll say four, let i equals zero, while i is less than five, we're going to say i plus plus. And then for our array, we're going to push i. So it's going to start with zero and then go to one, two, three, and four. And we're not going to put five in there because five is not less than five, right? And that's basically what it's going to look like right there. Uh, so now we're going to use a for loop to push the values one through five into my array. So we're just going to, uh, I'll, I'll show you what we'll do. So we're going to come over here and say four, uh -huh. <laughs> four, uh, let i equals zero, while i is less than, and since we're not uh, doing five anymore, we're actually gonna include five. We could say less than or equal to five, or we could save a keystroke stroke and just say, while i is less than six, we're gonna do i plus plus like that. And then we'll have these curly braces right here, and we'll say, uh, what are we gonna say? my array dot push i like that so let's come down here and say console dot log my array and you see right here we've got uh, zero one two three four five and if we put this thing right inside of it we can see each iteration it goes zero then zero one zero one two all the way up to zero one two three four five like that was it? No, one through five. Hold on. And so let's go back. When I is equal to one, that's what we'll do. All right. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five. Sorry for, hopefully you didn't s stop the video before this. Anyway, so there's that. Let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to iterate odd numbers with a for loop and we'll see you next time.